Hallelujah, Jesus. Greetings, everybody. Hey, come on in. How y'all doing? <laughs> Y'all come on in, invite some friends, glory to God, share the video, amen, I'm excited about the word today, hallelujah, how's everybody doing, come on in, come on in, glory to God, hi Nadia, hey, hey wisdom, how you doing, Hallelujah. Hi, Darlene. God bless you guys. Y'all come on in and share the video. We do not own the rights to this music, but I have been feeling this, uh, this song ever since it came out uh, because this is my prayer. Little change. Amen. So y'all guys, y'all coming in. Come on in. And, 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 and hey, Minister Nicole, Prophetess, God bless you, woman of God. Come on in. Amen. Good afternoon, family. We are here live. Amen. And I'm just excited. I'm excited about Jesus. That's 24-7 for me, but I'm just excited to be among the living and not among the dead. So y'all share this video. We're going to go in. We're going to talk about the word of God that he has given us today. You are here live with us in our noonday Bible study, midweek Bible study. Glory to God. And we're just excited about it. Amen. Hallelujah. We call it Bible study because we, you know, we're talking about the, the word through the word of God. Amen. But so many people have made it so hard and it's really not that hard to live saved, y'all. It's not that hard to serve God. No, it's not. So, hey, Terry. Hi, Prophet is Terry. I love you. God bless you for being here. Hi, Sybil. Prophet is Sybil. God bless y'all. Y'all share this video. Invite your friends. Amen. Invite your friends and just come on into the room. Amen. We are truly, truly excited. God is doing a new thing. Let me let me just start this off. Apostle K is coming. He's doing a new thing. And so I don't even know how much longer we're going to be doing lunch in the word or what God is doing. Amen. We just going we're going to keep on rolling with him as long as he he wants us to. But you know, be prepared for some changes in your life, not just in our life, but in your life too. So we are excited about it. We love you guys. Come on in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm just excited. Hi, Evangelist Shanice. How you doing? I, I, I can't have see. I'm going to switch up on my glasses. But since y'all are just, we just now coming in, we're going to take our time. I feel like just taking my time, you know, and just relaxing in God today. I had the worst headache yesterday. Last night before we went to bed. And I know when I do that, that's because the enemy is acting out. When I get a headache, I'm, you know, there's some witches or something doing something. Doing something. Just trust and believe. Sickness is not of God. But he will give a forewarning to you. Amen. Thank you, my love. Oh, my God. Look, guys. Look what I got. My husband is becoming an expert in this. <laughs> He's becoming an expert. Amen. We got work to do, right? No matter the age, no matter the wonder, no matter the time. Hi, sweetness. Look who's here, y'all. What he do? What he do? <laughs> Look who's here. Look here. This is our, you know, this is a, uh, one of our centerpieces. So, you know, we gonna, we, maybe we need to move it over here like this, you think? Amen. It's in the center. Amen. It's the center of, of, of who we are and what we are and what we're doing. Um. My Jesus, again, I'm just excited. Amen. I'm just excited. Hey, Miss Angie, how you doing? What she said? Uh, Teresita, keep on, keep on, Teresita, keep on. 
You one of them kids that stay on the timeout list gone. <laughs> <laughs> Help us today, my Jesus. Let me put my glasses on. Cause What's see, going on, y'all? How y'all doing? You know, the mother always got to help their child get out of trouble. Huh? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Even though the father, the father always whooping on, you know, the father be the one that the girls run to, right? But sometimes the mother's got to step in and help them get, get out of trouble because they've been stepped on the border. But Woo! this time... <laughs> Not this time. I got proof. Oh my God! I, I, I got proof of behavior. <laughs> I got proof of uh, Evangelist and me saying uh, greetings. Hello, hey. how are you? How are you? We how just you? love you guys. You know, let me tell you something. The one thing I know about faithful people mm -hmm. is only going to be a few of them. That's right, man. And I have learned that over the years of ministry. You know, you if you got a faithful few, come on here, somebody. Mm -hmm. If you got a faithful few, my mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. oh, shut that by. You and the faithful few can cast those mountains, ha, your boat, mm -hmm. and command mm -hmm. those mountains mm -hmm. to be ye removed. Come on, somebody. Amen. Even though you've been given the authority, ooh, Shabbat, Shabbat, as yourself to do it. But mm -hmm. when you got a faithful few, it'll be several mountains moved. Come on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh huh. I'm here with you, babe. Amen. I'm so proud of you. I don't know who's watched that video. I posted her video to uh, Prophet Teresita. She went on a consecration. Amen. And uh, God, God did something for her. I don't know how many of you. Amen. God has called to a fast, called to a consecration. I'm talking about God calling you to one. I'm not talking about what man is doing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what God has called you on a personal level to. Please be obedient. Watch her video, amen. Watch her video is down. Go down, just scroll down the page, and it's uh Teresita uh Copeland. Just watch her video, and she's giving testimony of what God has done for her. Let me tell you something you have, I mean, I, I also got a video on my page that uh from um Bishop Penny, she shared about spiritual parents, uh, you know. It's so profound, and it's what God had gave me. I just didn't know the words to articulate it, you know, to put it down. But she gave it. It's crystal clear teaching for spiritual parents, pastors, those that think they're spiritual sons and daughters. Let me tell you something. God is exposing everything and releasing teaching through the power of the Holy Ghost because I know flesh and blood did not give that to her. So we have many things on our page. God is doing a new thing. Amen. He said that when we stepped into 218, you got to be wonderful and gracefully while grabbing hold of this change. Amen. If you're planning on being the same as you was in 17, 16, 14, 15, Baby, we are holler because it's got to have a change every time. He says from glory to glory to glory. When you're going up, hallelujah, in, in your own life, I'm talking about your own life, there has to be change. I don't care how wonderful you are. I'm not caring about how beautiful you are. I'm talking about spiritually and naturally, there has to be some change. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Come on, babe. Oh, I didn't have anything on that page. Oh, you ain't have well, just no. whatever you want to okay. share. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you still still messing with Terry? See, Terry, Terry. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I didn't have yeah, she broke it down perfectly, and people have got to get an understanding. Hello, Affy. I don't want to mess up your name. Is that the name? Your how you pronounce it? Um, Lord, uh, Hallelujah. God bless you. Hey, Tracy, man. Me, Brown, God bless you. We're sorry for your loss. She lost her brother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Recently, we're sorry for your loss. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Good afternoon, everybody. Y'all come on in and y'all invite somebody. We're going to take our time. Amen. We're going to really, for real, we're going to take our time because I'm talking about this thing, this new thing that God is doing. I'm selling within myself. There's a lot of things that are selling with me and God has been just showing me that I have been on the right path, no matter what the devil been trying to tell me. That I have been speaking right. Come on. As a prophet, as an apostle, you need encouragement too. As a minister of the gospel, we all need encouragement. Amen. So we are here. That's what the Bible gives us an assignment to do, to encourage the people of God, encourage one another. So, you know, too many people have been quiet. So I encourage myself. 
Amen. Too many people are quiet. Too many people, you know, they, they'd rather listen to who's doing wrong or who's not wrong than to tell people who's doing it right. And, and instead of, to, you know, guiding people to the right folks, you know, because the body is jacked up. It's still jacked up. It ain't got on the straight and narrow yet. That's right. Can I, can I touch on mm -hmm. something? Uh, can I do a little bit of prophetic mm -hmm. teaching? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. or is it, it's still it's thick. Oh, good, because it's movie work. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I want to touch on something a little bit concerning the prophets. Amen. If I can, I'm not going to stay here. Okay. Mm. This is not a prophetic teaching, so I'm not going to stay here. I want to touch on something concerning the prophetic a little bit mm. that a lot of people don't understand concerning apostles and prophets. Okay. Here's, the, here's how this works. Prophets don't just release what God has told you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who say, well, all a prophet can release is confirmation. Mm -hmm. That's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have an issue with that. Okay. Nothing happens in the earth before God tells the prophet. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things that God will tell the prophet that is future concerning you. There is a lot of things that God will tell the prophet that is, con that is future concerning the nation. There's a lot of things that God will tell the prophet that is futuristic concerning whatever things you may be going through or what may happen to you. So never, 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 never mm -hmm. limit the prophetic office or anyone prophesying or giving you a word to it just be in confirmation. Oh, well, God didn't tell me that. Well, he's trying to tell you something. The, wow. the problem is, well, you listen. Now, with that being said, I'm leave that alone. Uh, another thing concerning concerning the prophets. A lot of times, the prophets. If you look at Jeremiah, okay. Mm -hmm. If you look at Isaiah, a lot of times, uh, we, and we have to be specific and be careful. A lot of times, a prophet when they speak, they may be years or sometimes a year ahead of time. When we look at what happened with with Jeremiah, when Jeremiah prophesied that Babylon was going to come. It happened mm -hmm. in his life, but the time of him prophesying and it actually happened, there was a space of time. We have to stop this with the prophetic office. It is disgusting. It is in a... Okay. <laughs> I think we just need to do a prophetic teaching. Mm. What y'all think? I'm going to let y'all have for that. that. Enjoy. I don't know. It has, you know, a, a webinar. <laughs> I mean, okay. So, hey, Gary, how you doing? What it do, son? What it do? Amen. What are we talking about today? Mm. Amen. We, uh, we, we're talking about, uh, you don't look like it. I mean, I look like it, but it doesn't mean something like that. Uh-oh. Where my notes? Uh-oh. No notes. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Boo! Okay. Quick play. <laughs> Just because I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's say that one more time. Somebody type this. Just because I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Amen. Hey Amen. Hey Come on, somebody, somebody type that. Just because I don't look. Hallelujah. Just because, hallelujah, Jesus, I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Amen, Matthew 4 and 18. But we're going to come out a little bit of everywhere because I think people need to hear this word. I really do. I'm grateful for this word that God has given me. Amen. Given us. Amen. And, 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 and it's going to be a good word. So, so just because... I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. I, I, did I turn my sound down? Let me get everything right, together. It's no, it's up. Amen. Amen. Does it, just because I don't look like you. Hallelujah. Yes, Cindy, we on lunch in the Word. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're a little late today. But God bless y'all. But let's, let's, uh, hey, Evangelist Lisa, how you doing? Hallelujah. But anyways, let's, let, let's talk about, you know, because a lot of people, see, they don't, let me, let me, oh, boy, I don't know, Lord. You know, we don't look like the norm. Why is that? that that's them. Uh, okay, for those of you that are on the phone lines, can uh -huh. you mute your phone, please? For those of you that are on the phone lines, can you mute your phone? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. 
Thank you. We don't look like everybody else. We don't minister like everybody. I've seen a lot of people that I've went to places and what you get, you know, from Facebook and stuff like that doesn't mean that you're going when I, you know, when I got to them, I'm sorry, I, I just didn't, I, I didn't. All participants are muted. Can unmute themselves. Amen. I didn't, you know, I didn't see the people, what they look like on Facebook. They didn't look like themselves, you know, uh, when I got to them. But that doesn't mean that they weren't qualified. Okay. I'm a visual person, so go ahead, honey. We're going to get into this. Y'all need to share this video because it's going to be good. <laughs> We if we gonna really we gonna get into this because see I'm telling you now when God said that He was exposing when we you know He's been saying it for the past few years there ain't nobody believing God give you time to get yourself right and um before He expose you and so you know come on honey I know you want to tap in come on look here's the truth people mm. have a preconceived notion as to what a man or woman of God should look like mm. and the reality mm. of the matter is it's not what you think it is it's just not. Mm -mm -mm. And the, and part of the a part of the problem with that is the and the, 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 the and the place where the preconceived notion comes from is because too much of the world has crept into the church and now we expect a man or woman of God to look like someone dressed in a suit or dressed in a robe who done had fifteen degrees and and and, and been gray or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. People have a preconceived notion as to what apostle, prophet, preacher, teacher, or anybody who represents God should look like. When the reality is, glory to God, mm. there was never a description given in the Bible of how they look. <laughs> there is a description of how they behave. There's a description about how they live. But there was never a description about how every prophet or apostle should look. There was never a description about how a pastor should look. I mean, it was status quo back in those days. All shepherds had a, had a staff that they walked with, glory to God, uh, when they did whatever they did. But we have to be, be careful, glory to God. There was never a set description. And I don't believe that God gave a description as to how an apostle, pastor, preacher, teacher, or any one of the fivefold is supposed to look. I just don't believe that. And if you can find it please let me know now i get it we have we, we should have certain characteristics okay but characteristics have nothing to do with my skin color how i dress how what kind of glasses i wear how i wear my hair how i wear how, I, how the, the the size pants that i wear the 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 the, the, the uh the uh, how loud my mouth is glory to god uh, i mean how, how deep my, my voice is glory there, there was never any type uh, I mean, glory to God. There was never, there was never any type of, 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 of indication for that in the Bible. There never was. The Bible didn't say, go down the hill and look for somebody with a deep voice who's tall, six foot four, a uh, 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 muscular tone. He's an apostle. <laughs> it, it, it never said that. I, Help me. Listen, I'm open to learning new things, so please help me. Help me find it if it's there. But at the same time, we come into this concept. Now, what the Bible will say sometimes what a, what a, what a, what a prophet wear. The Bible talks about the prophet and the robe, which is the mantle. The apostle and the robe, that's the mantle. Amen. Glory to God. But there was never a physical description of how any set apostle or prophet should look. Or any, not just apostle or prophet, but any one of the fivefold ministry. So somebody from the street who made me homeless can come to you and give you a word, but some of y'all won't accept it because, oh, they don't have a title. Or it's another thing that grinds my gear. But, we, okay, go ahead, honey. Well, I'm supposed, I'm supposed so what we're we talking about, thank you, Sybil Dre. Just because I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Let's go to the word of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's go to the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Talking about, hallelujah, the ministry of Jesus Christ when it began. But I wanted to start at verse 17. From then on, Jesus began to preach. Repent mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. of your sins and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. Amen. 
Then verse 18 says, one day Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water for they, uh, they fish for a living. Jesus called out to them, come, come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for the people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Come on. And of course, this is a different version. Excuse me. A different version. But Peter, Peter had a temper. Did that make him not qualified? Okay, okay. Did that make him not qualified? Mm, 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 mm. We're going to walk this out today. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Makita Providence. God bless you, Janetta. Uh, Janita, uh, you know what? I, oh, I know you can't take it. You ain't going to make it. Let me tell you something. When God gives you some stuff that's good, baby, it's good for you first. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, how many times have people looked down on you, amen, just because of the clothes you wear, just because of what you look like or what you sound like? Okay. And then you turn around and beat yourself up. That devil. That devil, he, you know, it's the time that we got to start beating down the enemy. For this nonsense that he put on us. But the Bible told us, and I wrote it on Facebook the other day. The enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. But what is what we give him? Come on. <laughs> what we give him. What we give him. That just because you don't look or, or, or talk like, like them doesn't mean I'm, I'm not qualified. Come on here, somebody. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. When you're going through a shape and molding process, everything about you should change. Everything about you, 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 uh, honey, the way I started is definitely not the way I look. I remember when uh, Jesus said, come and follow me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I used to wear all these here mm, 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 clothes because, see, I don't like clothes. Okay, that's my nature. <laughs> but the thing about it, that was my nature. That was the worldly nature in me. Now, what do I look like? Y'all always see me pulling on my clothes, trying to make sure I'm right. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because, you know, the Holy Spirit will correct you. You can't shape and mold nobody. As, as, as a teacher, yeah, you can help them get understanding and teach them some stuff. But you can't shape and mold nobody. They need the Holy Spirit to really teach them and convict them. I could not go in the church with my bra showing all my upper parts, my breasts and everything sticking out. Oh, y'all don't want to talk the truth today. But does that mean that I wasn't qualified if I went in that way? No. What that means is how you're both shutting it up. Then Jesus talks about the man coming in, amen, the, uh, and, 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 and beggar clothes. Glory to God. And and who would you choose? The royalty looking person? And that's what always happened in the church. A lot of people end up getting church hurt. Y'all don't want to talk to me today. A lot of people end up getting church hurt because you've been dismissed because you don't look like them. Okay. Let's go further in the word. You want to talk about it? Okay? Listen. <laughs> a teacher, a teacher will teach you about your character. Mm-hmm. A teacher will help you develop your character. Mm -hmm. oh, don't, 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 don't do that, son. That's not healthy for you. Don't, don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't, mm -hmm. don't do that, daughter. That, that's, mm -hmm. that's not really going to help you. That's not, that's not a proper decision that's going to influence you in your future. That builds your character. Mm -hmm. Teaching is mm -hmm. going to build that character. Mm -hmm. But then we have the Holy Spirit who not only teaches character but teaches style. Oh, that's good. Come on. Oh, God, Come on. Give me some fire. <laughs> Come on. That's good. We got we y'all ain't talking to nobody. I don't see no hearts flying. Y'all know that was good. I don't see no hearts going forward. Y'all better come on here. I know I she see because that's the truth. See, the Holy Spirit will teach you how to dress. But the problem is we have more people. Now, I, now, I'm not taking away from what the Bible says that the older woman should teach the younger woman. I'm not taking away from that. But there's very few older women today teaching the younger women. So now, oh. not, okay, so I'm leaving that alone. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh. So, 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 so because there's none of those anymore and, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit now, he will come in and he will begin to speak to you 
and he will begin to glory to God. He will be able. To, he will begin to teach you how to dress. He will be able to teach you what you what what you. Should. He'll tell you, don't put that on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, it's that, he, he'll tell you before you put that. Don't put that dress on. Don't put, make you all uncomfortable. That, 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 okay, glory to God. He'll teach you. He'll teach you. And it's up to us, glory to God, to listen. The problem is we're not listening. Then when we get to church, somebody looks at you funny, and then you get upset because they're looking at you funny. But had you listened in the first place, they wouldn't have had that problem. And we're not saying downsize the way you dress or none of that. We're not saying that. What we're saying is that the Holy Spirit teach you how to dress, that he will teach you how to dress. Amen. So, so you know, this this is the thing. The Holy Spirit brings us to all truth. Truth about ourselves, truth about our dress wear, truth about our speech. He brings all truth to us, but are we asking him? Just because I don't look like you does not mean I'm not qualified or talk like you, that I'm not qualified. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Now, now Jesus walking, and he seen two brothers. Amen. One was a cousin. Come on. And had a temper. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Amen. He was known for that. Everybody knew him as that. Man, I was a cusser. When I was in the work, I was a cusser. I was known as a cusser. Yes, call me heater from time to time. But when I got saved, he instantly, suddenly, he instantly took the cussing from me. When I got the Holy Spirit, I ain't had a thought about cussing. I'm not saying that it won't rise up in you. Uh, cause it rose up in Peter on several occasions. Hello, somebody. And it, I don't know if anybody here with us today. Mm. Okay. Hallelujah. So here we are. And then it says, glory to God. And he said, I'll make you fishers of men. A little further up the shore, he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father, Je uh, Zebedee, repairing their nest. And he called them to come to come, come. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat, leaving their father. We got folks that don't even want to leave. Oh, my Jesus. They don't want to leave where they're stuck in. They don't want to leave that place of residence. They don't want to leave their situation. They don't want to leave nothing to follow Christ. And then they're wondering why things still not going right. One thing, when you come to follow Christ, he want all of you to follow Christ. Don't say my heart following you, but my mind is somewhere else. I, yeah, by that ain't going to work. Don't say my, you know, I'm following you, Christ, and I got my hand around your hand. Glory to God, but your heart is down the street. Amen. That ain't going to work. That's not going to work. So, so we're talking about today, and it's going to all fit together. Best to believe that. Just because I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Because, see, we got to learn about what God is doing with this change. He will perfect that which he has begun. Amen. And so what he does with the perfecting, glory to God, when you go get placed on that potter's wheel, when you're asking for change, ask from the heart and expect change when it comes and receive the change. Amen. So he got two more brothers. Mm. He called two more brothers. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And they, they followed him too. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and leaving their father, father behind. Hallelujah. So then Jesus begins to travel. He begins to travel. And all miners of crowds begin to come and follow him. Amen. Teaching in the synagogues, Jesus was announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of e uh, uh, disease and illnesses. Hallelujah. So news spread it. News is spreading about you. Are you even walking in what you're called to do? This is, this is just... Are you even walking in and doing what the Father has chose you to do just because you're a cusser? Are you doing the work hard, ya bosa, mm. just because you don't look like them and you don't talk like them? Are you doing the work anyways? I needed to, ooh, shake out loud. Um, I needed to stop and ask that. Come on, bossy. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, honey. I mean, we're here together. Are you? Mm hmm God, oh, that's messing with me. Are you allowing Oof. your fleshly nature to keep you 
from doing what God has called you to do. Look, there is a difference between mm. someone struggling mm. with living right versus someone who just has a mindset to live right. Okay? Mm. I mean, to, 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 to live bad. Okay? Jesus. You can be struggling with your sin. You can be struggling with your addiction. You can be struggling with, with, uh, 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 with, the, with the thing that, that, uh, that, that thorn in your flesh. Okay? That, doesn't, that, is n that does not exemplify you from ministry. No. Jesus. There was never, uh, when we look at Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul talks about the thorn in his flesh, but it never stopped him mm. from being who God called him to be. That not, he, he, As an apostle, he mentioned the thorn in his flesh. At doing great signs and wonders, he still mentioned the thorn in the flesh. Listen, yes. there are certain things that will always keep you near the cross. I don't know what it is, don't care what it is, but just because you have it, it doesn't mean that you cannot go forward. I know that some mm. of you, glory to God, may have a mindset, well, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I still curse or I still drink and God hasn't delivered me yet. I'm praying about it. Glory to God. I'm, I'm praying about it. I'm fasting about it. I have not been delivered. But does that stop you from spreading the word? Now, most folks will call you a hypocrite. I understand that. Glory to God. But you still have a work to do. And when God is ready, he will deliver you from that thing. And you cannot put yourself or close yourself. Let's I can be honest, glory to God. I can mm -hmm. be honest, okay. I, I can be transparent. Mm -hmm. There were times, there were times that I had to preach the next morning, or there are times I had to minister to somebody the next day, glory to God. But I, I can't. I don't want to tell you what I did last night. Man. And I had to go and meet this person where they were. Matter of fact, I was just going about my business. And the, the situation was presented in front of me. There was nothing I can do about it. It just, the, the, per, the people just came, the situation happened. Now, what did I have to do? I had to, I, I had to start praying. I had to start seeking the Lord about it. And I had to be able to give, give them an answer and give them what they need. Glory to God. I, I, I couldn't say, well, I did such and such last night. I can't help you. Oh, Jesus. And I was going through, I was, I wanted to kill myself because of what I was doing. I didn't want to preach. I didn't want to teach. I didn't want to minister. I'm, I'm saying this to you that you can understand. I'm not trying to get a sympathy. I'm trying to get you to understand how hard it can be yes, when you're Jesus. going through and you have something that makes you feel like you are not worthy of going forward. But God constantly puts situation in front of your face that tells you, you cannot stop. Come on. No matter what you do, glory to God. You cannot stop. Can you imagine if I did? Can you imagine if I did kill myself, glory to God, because of what I was dealing with? I wouldn't be here to see your beautiful faces. I wouldn't have been able to marry this beautiful woman. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to experience this George experience. I wouldn't be able to do some of the stuff that so don't give up where you are just because you have something that is in the closet that nobody know about. If they know about it, they may they may shun you, but God never shuns you. There is a plan for your escape and there's a plan for your for your retrieval. Just believe that in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hey, Prophet Mary, God bless your family. Amen. That's good. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. You know, this is the thing. You know, just because you don't look like them, a lot of people, and I, I hear y'all, Shanice, a lot of people are not going to receive you because they can't receive what they don't understand. Right. You know, a lot of pastors, all they know is pastoring. Right. They haven't stressed out further than where they are. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, uh, I, I had uh, said this before. You know, I've read the Bible from the beginning to the end. As God called me, kept calling me apostle, I kept crying. I was crying, man. I was struggling. Mm -hmm. I was like, apostle, wait a minute, wait a minute. Everything was happening so quick. You know, I was like, what is that? What is that? Now, watch this. I read the Bible, but I wasn't doing what the church was. The first church, oh, shit, God, 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 I wasn't doing what they were doing up there in the pulpit. I wasn't like them, and I knew I wasn't like them. Come on. Noonday prayer, I was on the ground giving birth to the prophetic. Come on. I wasn't preaching the gospel. I would just say I was evangelizing. That's what I found out I was doing later. But my pastor at the time, he, Pastor Ella Bradley, he didn't understand. He didn't understand, but he didn't stop me, and I thank God for it. You know, some things happened after the fact that I had to move on. But the thing about it, he did not stop my gift from going forward. Everybody is not in tune to God. Somebody need to catch this. 
Everybody, I don't care what the circumstances is, everybody's not in tune. Everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. You got a lot of people out here preaching from knowledge, not wisdom. Theologists. Yeah, theologists. And so they're not going to understand, amen, about an apostle, about a prophet, about an evangelist. They, they, anything outside of their circle, they're not going to understand it. Why? Because, you know, one thing y'all need to start praying is that the people, the body of Christ, get the Holy Spirit. Because really? uh, uh, most people don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, and that's one thing we go after, making sure you get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because you're not going to get an understanding with your natural mind state. That's right. And you can be a theologist with the Holy Ghost now. Don't get it twisted. Ooh. I, I just have a problem with a theologist who has no Holy Ghost, and then you want to come and teach me something. No, all you do is teaching me history. No, I need I need the theologist makes completely, completely completely overtaken by the Spirit of God. And when you're completely taken overtaken by the Spirit of God, when you begin to teach history with the Spirit of God, it becomes manner and life to me. Glory to God. And what that does, it becomes meat to my bones. Glory to God. And now I can take that. I could chew on it for some months. Glory to God. And it will, it will, it will, and that word will give birth to new word and give birth to more word. We, we got to understand this thing. Glory to God. I get to, get on the teaching. The Bible says, and all you're getting, get understand, get wisdom, get your wisdom, but get get the Holy Ghost too. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. It's, it's it's not one or the other. It's one and the other. Glory to God. It goes to get love and marriage. It, not separate. Okay. <laughs> give me some, boy. You somebody. <laughs> That was some good stuff right there. Listen, Makia, you are so, so right. Your gifts are without repentance. But see, let me tell you something. People will take that scripture and try to destroy somebody with it. Why? Because they don't understand it. Just because I don't look or talk like you does not mean I'm not qualified. Now, watch this. Paul was a murderer, and so was Moses. Huh? Everybody be forgetting about her. But Miriam, she was a prophet of the Lord, but she was a gossiper and a backbiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moses' sister. Mm -hmm. See, so just because I don't look like you, just trust and believe God got something for you when you're out of the wheel. When you start doing some stuff and he didn't call and chose you for it. Amen. Remember, he gave Miriam leprosy. That's right. <laughs> Come on. Moses had to do what? Moses had to go pray for her. <laughs> the very one that she was talking about. That she was talking about. Her own family member. Could somebody catch that, please? Her own family member. See, somebody need to be running on this. I ain't running today. I'm going to keep still. <laughs> I think. You know, see, 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 that's the thing. Hallelujah. Before you go, you, 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 you uh, Here's the thing, you know, we talk about Moses being a killer, Peter being a uh, uh, being a cusser. Glory to God. You know, we talk about everybody talk about they want to be a David and how David was the apple of God's eye and the whole nine yards. This is that and the third. But you know, we we understand that they, David David had lust, amen. And that's something that a lot of us deal with, but we but we don't want to talk about, amen. Glory to God. We have sexual lust, amen. And it's not just sexual lust, amen. It's the lust of the eyes, you know. Uh, I, I, lust of clothes, uh, shopping. You can have the lust of anything. She said it, not me. No, no, she said it, not me. She said it, not me. You need deliverance. I was getting ready to say that. You need I was getting ready to say it, and she took it out. She took the words right out. <laughs> listen, listen, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. I know I, I, I know I didn't have no lust in my life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, years ago, years ago, this spirit always been on me. Years ago, I used to say, man, I need to start a thing about shopaholics. Shopaholics. Amen. Shopaholic Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know. I know that I know. Mm -hmm. God has had to deliver me before, but he's going to deliver me again. <laughs> but we got to seek out that. Oh, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> 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 but we, yeah, we have, people need to be delivered from many things. Now, how did you go there? Why did you go there? No. But no. anyways, come on, I'm get back to... on. No. Bring the pen over. Yeah, how do we get there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus, and this is for men and women. Don't talk about men. Uh, men don't have a lust of shopping. Come on, the lust of the eyes 
It, it, this yeah. is where we yeah. got to stop being so with the horses, with these blinders. Right. It's a broad extension of right. everything. Yes. It's, just because yes. I don't look or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Mm -hmm. Come on here, somebody. Mm -hmm. But see, what the qualifications, let's, let's catch up with this a little bit. Mm -hmm. The qualifications, even though Peter was a, had a temper, even though Paul was a murderer, they still, they did the work. Mm -hmm. They exercised their gift. And this is to you, Makita. Our, what our, you asked the question of what our thoughts are about uh, uh, receiving the Holy Spirit and the gifts of tongues. My thought is this. Once you receive the Holy Spirit, as the Bible says, you have, uh, uh, you, you, and, and you have the uh, utterance. This utterance of the speaking in tongue to let you know that you have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, when the gift of tongues is you need to exercise it. Most people get the uh, Holy Spirit... And they say, I don't speak in tongues. That's you. But you need to exercise the gift because that connects you and God. Mm -hmm. That's your communication that the enemy can't decipher. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. That's why I speak in tongues. Tongues is my first language because I want to talk to the Father. At least that's what they say. I want to talk to the Father 24-7 or tw maybe 23 so I can spend time to talk to the people. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, don't come around unless you have the gift of interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bit me. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth, family. Listen, listen here. Speak in tongue as often as you need be because a lot of people, you missing your relationship or what God got for you because you're not speaking in tongue, man. Listen. Speak in tongue. If you, the, the, the Bible even, to Apostle Paul, he teaches good on that. But don't get it twisted. Amen. When God give you, if you're in a setting, the Bible talks about don't be speaking in tongue all loud and stuff unless you have the interpretation. God, the Holy Spirit will give you interpretation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So to, uh, to answer our thoughts on that, the whole, let the Holy Spirit do his work. And then see, this is where a lot of people are missing it, missing it and messing up. The tongues is a gift. He said, I give to all believers new tongue. What you talk about? So when I get to speaking in tongue and all of a sudden my tongue changes, come on. That's another gift that he has, the God is, the Father has extended to me. Yeah, the diversities of tongue. We should have a different language. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. So here we go. Go ahead. Honey. If I can add to that, the, 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 what happens is the Bible declares that as they, when they get filled with the Holy Spirit, that they would speak in tongues. That was normally what would happen after someone was filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, so the speaking in tongues is one of, it's not the only one, but it's one of the main evidence. Of the filling of the Holy Spirit. Some people cry. Some people, you know, do different things. But one of the main evidence, I'm not saying there aren't others. One of the main ones is the speaking of tongues. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's one of them. Okay, so don't, we're not telling you not to do it or, or don't do it. But we must remember that it's one of the main, it's not the only one. Okay. Amen. Go ahead. Yeah, speak in tongues. Amen. If the pastor don't speak it, that's them. They need the Holy Ghost. You know, and again, they're in a setting of their own. They're not, they're not letting, allowing God, and I don't care, you can bring whoever to me, and I will tell them the same thing. They're not allowing God. They got to set order. They want to stick to the order. They don't want to be out of the order. See, they're the ones in the box. You can't put God in a box, baby. God too big. God just ain't in yours. He's not with you. Okay. If you feel in the presence in a dead place, that's because you got the presence with you. Okay. Another reason why they don't they downplay tongues a lot because it's taboo, it's spiritual culture. It's it's it's, it's, it's a lot of it is something that they uh, they always can, they can't always explain or they can't control either. So uh, you know, glory to God. So you know, because so a lot of people, folks, if you really get the Holy Spirit, you get free from a lot of pastors. But anyway, so so you know, you have to be very careful. So. And then, as as apostles and prophets, I don't know, it, you ain't got no benefit, you know, unless God sent you to that church, can I help you? I had a good, blessed pastor, 
Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, because he knew, he knew that it was God dealing with me as a prophet. He knew, and he allowed the prophets in the house to speak, and I was birthing for my gift. You, if you gonna be with a pastor, see, but you gotta understand one thing: God sent me to that church. He sent me to the church. I didn't take myself because it was the neighborhood church. I didn't take myself because everybody else was going there. I didn't take myself because it felt good. I didn't take myself because the music was good. They downcast this church. They always talked about the church, that they stayed in church too long. I went, and God sent me to that church. And what he sent me one Sunday, he sent me to several churches. And one Sunday he said, this is the one I'm sending you to, to, to join, to learn and teach. We got to stop going places without God sending us there. See, you know, unless he's, and, and then another thing, catch this again. I'm sending you to the church so that you can teach and learn. And when I joined the church that following Sunday, when I went up front and the pastor asked me what I, I said, exactly what God told me. I've been sent here to join the church so I can learn and teach. Man, we got to start moving with the spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Just because I don't look like you or talk like you doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Mm -hmm. And if so many people are sitting in these orthodox places, these places of, 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 of learning, taught, taught. I'm not coming against nothing, but I'm speaking the truth. When you're sitting up under that stuff, what are you doing for God? Because you had to be sent. Can I ask you? What are y'all doing? Are you just going there to visit? You just going there to fellowship? What, are, what is your assignment when you are there? Oh, boy. Okay, so your, so your standards for a man or woman of God is someone who has to be educated. Okay. Uh, they, have to be, uh, they have to be a certain mm -hmm. age. They have to look a certain way. Okay, uh, they have to be suited down right, whatever the case may be, however you want to put it, right? And and that's fine, glory to God. But what happens when the man or woman of God that you have selected to be the, the um, because they fit your description is not filled with the Holy Ghost? What happens with that person that you that you that you love and that you're going to their church because they look a certain way or they have a particular amount of things and said things. I'm not saying there's, there is there is some anointed folks that have actually that that are actually anointed and are actually intellectual. I'm not saying there aren't, but there's some of you who are based who are choosing who are first of all you're choosing, which is wrong. You're choosing your leaders based on their credentials as far as school. You're not choosing the leaders as far as their credentials or this or their or their relationship with God. And that's a problem. Because you have to be led and go where God sends you and God will show you how that person is. Now, this person may not have all the degrees and all the stuff that you want. Glory to God. But if you allow God to show you, he has the spirit, he or she may have the spirit of God, which will take you much further than any degree can. Man, come on. The spirit of God will teach that same person who has the degree more than the degree taught him. We got to get ourselves in the position to understand the person that we're following after or running after, glory to God, they must be filled with the spirit of God, glory to God. Not just because they have a nice car, they family well taken care of, they well vested. You don't know what kind of control is going on in that house without the spirit of God. And then you get there and you've been there for six years and then the truth comes out and you go, oh my God, I didn't know. You couldn't have known. You wasn't looking. And even so, you got some out here up under folks that they know they didn't found out that they wasn't right and still sitting up under it. Okay. What does that tell me about you? Which I'm not concerned, but I won't be following you. If you are accepting the devil, amen, and be led by a devil or sitting up under somebody that's jacked up, jacked up, what does that say about you? Come on. Now, enough is enough. Let me, somebody got to speak the truth and I've been raised to speak the unadulterated truth. It is no way that I'm going to follow a devil. If I'm following a devil that committed sin after sin after sin after sin, he is a devil, she is a devil, and she going to hell and you're going with her. Okay, that is all on that. But anyway, anyhow, 
because there's too many of these folks out here. Y'all sewing it too. Y'all giving. Y'all spending time. Y'all sharing their stuff. Y'all, you know, and you know they're devil. Wait a minute. Yeah, he says forgive, but I ain't feeding no devil. I'm not feeding no, no demon. Some of these folks are walking demons, and y'all better try to you um, ask God to open up your eyes so you can see. I shut up. I see. Anyways, just because I don't look like you, I don't talk the way they talk. See, I ain't got no sweet nothing to whisper in your ear. I don't have a lust spirit to send out to you to draw you in. Y'all going to catch this about a few minutes. I don't have a spirit, glory to God, to send at you, send that witchcraft at you, mesmerize you. No, baby. I ain't got time for that. That's witchcraft. <laughs> We're sent to set the captives free. We're sent to get and release truth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just because... Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, shut. <laughs> I don't look or sound like you does not mean I'm not qualified see you got them secret mission folk mm -hmm. amen they, they come and contact you in secret cause they pastor mm -hmm. they prophet or a false prophet or a false apostle that did some stuff and then they come and hit you up in your inbox oh yeah man because you done set, on, set up under them and they done dropped some voodoo on you. They done sent some demons at you because they will do it. Hallelujah. You done gave them all your money. You broke, busted, and disgusted. You homeless. Okay. Can I get some prayer? Yeah, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. That's what I'm called to do. Yes, I'm going to pray for you. From a distance. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you that God help your unbelief. Amen. So just because I don't talk like them, you don't talk like them, you don't look like them, does not mean you're not qualified. As, as a matter of fact, uh, I done met some powerful anointed men and women of God that not even on Facebook. Amen. I done met a lot of fake, fake folks on social media. That have tried to take us out. Come on, somebody. Where well, ain't nobody want to tell the truth? Hallelujah. Ain't nobody, don't nobody want to tell? Okay, okay. So, so here we are. Who, who makes you qualify? Only God could qualify you. Watch this. Gideon was insecure. Mm. Mm, 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 Let's talk about your boy. God, no. Gideon was insecure. Yes, Jesus. He was called out of the midst of them all. <laughs> he was called. <laughs> he was called when nobody else was called. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he called in the midst of a famine? famine? Yes. yes. He was called in the midst of a war. Oh, shake the boat. When everybody thought they stick their chest out that they were going to say the kings were going to arise, you know, the ones, you know. Oh, boy. God, that's good. Matter of fact, he was called in the times when everybody was running. He was called. <laughs> See, I said I wasn't going to run today. <laughs> he was called in the time when everybody was fearful of those who was attacking, they were under siege and, and glory to God. And, 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 and they would plant crops and everything, glory to God. And the enemy would come and just take it from them, glory to God. So he would, he came up in a time, glory to they God. They were being bullied. Okay. <laughs> so now. Oh, God. <laughs> he loves Gideon. Glory to God. They sent him. A mm -mm -mm. nobody. The least, he's, he, first of all, he was the youngest in the family, glory to God, and the least of the family. So they sent him, glory to God, to go to the wine press, which don't even make sense, but they sent him to the wine press to thresh wheat. They got a threshing floor for wheat. Why are you threshing wheat in the wine press? But, so, so, wait, um, Ooh. so what that is. So sent you on a secret mission. That what that tells me, what that tells me is every normal things were inaccessible. Wow. 
What that tell me is the normal measures of threshing wheat were inaccessible because if they did it out in the open, they would have taken it from them. If they did it out in the open, they would have been robbed. So they had to do this undercover. Oh my God. Uh, I can't. It is too good to me. I can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How each. <laughs> and he was insecure doing all of that. Come on, scared, shaking. <laughs> One thing we, this family got a motto about. If you're not scared, then go back and check yourself. Something wrong. See, because you didn't got too bold within yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying boldness is not supposed to come forward because it is. You should have the gift of boldness that rests upon you. The boldness of the father. But Gideon was insecure, but he went forward anyhow. Okay, ain't nobody want to talk mm. to us today. He went forward anyhow. When you you got a little fear, a little scared in your belly, your mm. belly's turning. Hey Amen. The sweat is pouring up off of you because you're, you're scared. You got to go forth anyhow. Because you don't look like them. Mm. You don't talk like them. And you're on a platform with all these gazillion billionaires. Mm -hmm. But see, I'd rather hang out with the gazillion and billionaires because that's the place that I'm going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Get in. Mm -hmm. He was around folk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he was the least of them. Hello, mm -hmm. somebody. So I may be the least of them, the brokers of them, but I'm hanging around millionaires and gazillionaires because that's where I'm going. Thanks, Apostle Anthony. I, that just, the Holy Spirit just brought this, that back to me. Mm -hmm. You must have preached this last week or something, but that brought, it brought it back to me. You know, you, you got to be around folks. Hallelujah. That They may not think you nobody. Mm -hmm. e but the end result, Gideon was somebody. God knew it. <laughs> Jesus. I, woo! God knew it. You know, the Bible talks about, the Bible says, mm. to as many as believe, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. I'm about to slap you. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> better come on and preach that mister oh jesus i get with you today i know right <laughs> you're gonna get you do it me first okay okay <laughs> Ooh. man this thing is good to as many as believe to them gave he the power to become the sons of god it was never about a physical requirement Oh, it was never an external, matter of fact, it wasn't even an external requirement. It was a mindset. It was a mind, he said, believe, that's a mind thing. That has nothing to do with your, that has nothing to do with your education. That has nothing to do with your, with your level of expertise. It has nothing to do with your age. It has nothing to do with the way you look. It was a mindset. He said, your mind is what I'm trying to get to. He said to as many, and then he turned around and said, the sacrifices of the Lord are what? Are a broken spirit. And a contrite heart. So, so, so it's, it was a mind thing and a heart thing. It was never a physical or mental or physical uh, or, or, or physical or, or external aspect of you. Everything was internal. So there's never a, you you would never know what a what a man or woman of God really looks like because it's internal unless you know the presence of God. Now that's different. Because when you get into the presence of, uh, 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 of God, you should be able to tell others who have been in the presence of God. Why? Because you tried the spirit by the spirit. And you get there and God will say, that's one of mine right there. God will start talking to you. Because it has always been a mind and a heart thing, glory to God, which, reflect, which, which is a reflection of the spirit of God. But too many of us, you looking at that, you, 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 like, you like Samuel was before Samuel got, got taught. He said, I'm not looking at the outward appearance. I see like it's see see <laughs> you just just because I'm not throwing at you you throw it at yourself <laughs> you throw it at yourself just because you don't look like them come on they didn't even look like them or talk like them mm. does that mean you're not qualified mm. 
Now, yeah, let's talk about David since you're there. Oh, Jesus. When Samuel, the prophet Samuel, one of the mightiest, powerfulest prophets of all time. Y'all share this video. Stop playing. Share the video. I, I ain't saying nothing else. Share the video. Click. I mean, send some hearts. Share the video. Because, I, I, you know what? I, I just think the guy get ready to stop lunching the word. Okay. I, you know, I don't know. I, I That may be me, you know, but I don't know how these folks be getting thousands of followers. In, what? What? Share the video. You know, for real, share the video because I'm not going to keep on teaching and stuff just because I don't look like them and I don't talk like them does not mean I'm not qualified. Okay. So, so I can talk about David now. Talk about David because I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, you'll be <laughs> I love y'all anyhow. I don't care. Lord, hey, baby, God has already raised me up. If only one, if one gets saved, woohoo. When we look at David, you know, the Bible says he had seven sons. The prop, the prophet Ooh. came. The Bible says just, he, just he had to okay. give seven, Jesse, he had seven Jesse. sons. The prophet, the man of God, came to Jesse and said, "Go call all your sons." So at this point, I'm prone to believe that Jesse didn't even <laughs> think David or didn't even. <laughs> I'm putting my glasses on. <laughs> because, and, and, and the reason why I'm saying this because Jesse made it his business not to even go and find David. He made it his, Jesse might have even forgotten about David. Baby. Because, because, <laughs> Next up. because, because all Jesse decided to do was get the six that were in the immediate vicinity. Somebody they won't catch that. Catch the get the six that, that was in the immediate vicinity that had a particular stature, mm. had a particular walk, had a particular talk. This was the the good. These were the these were the strong ones. These these were the ones that looked like king. They mm, strong like bull, as they would say. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And and and, 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 and handsome. Okay. You know. Okay. And they they, they looked, had that look. They looked apart. See, that's what that. That's what the church has been doing. They're going after folk that look the part. They're not going after folk that are the parts. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all, I don't want to. I don't want to offend nobody. Well, you okay, got no friends. Okay, okay. Don't want to offend nobody. Okay, so 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 we gonna go to the ones who look like they got it all together. That's why a lot of people are trying to look like them. Uh oh. They, they got the mega church and they got it all together. Life action camera. Yeah, they got. Oh, they 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 they, they been ain't on, coming where the presence of the Lord they, is. They've been on TV and they've been on TV. They ain't coming where God is. They ain't so, coming to get no deliverance. We we gonna. Bring this. We gonna we gonna go to the six. Now six is the number of man. We gonna go to the six that look like they have it all together. But we're not gonna go to the one. Come on, which is God. We're not gonna go to the one. Glory to God. Or the seven, which is a which is the completion of the thing. We're not gonna go to the one. Glory to God. Who actually is it? So so Jesse brought glory to God. He he, he brought the ones. Glory to God. He 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 brought the six. Glory to God, which is the number of man before before uh before uh, uh glory to God. Uh, uh, his name his name his name. The prophet uh, Samuel. 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 Oh, Go, yeah. Right and, and and Samuel was like, yeah, oh yeah, we got this. We gonna pour. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, man's eyes. Come on, yeah, we are gonna pour. He, he put his hand and the and the oil would not pour. How many people have you gone to or have you been around? That you thought was it, but there was no oil being poured. Oh, oh that'll preach. Write that in my notes. Write that. <laughs> in my notes. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> Quick God from Zion. That was good, y'all. Write that. Somebody write that. The, there the was oil a... wasn't poured. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there was only a flow because of your presence. The six came, they was measured, they were tried, and they finished. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. They, 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 they were tried and true. But there was no flow until the one that was called or the one that was stood in the presence. So how many people, glory to God, get to see the glory because of your presence? Now, the topic of today is, because see, I know you feel like running. Let me help you. Where you going? Just because you don't look like them. Come on. 
or talk like them Ooh. does not mean you're not qualified. Ooh, Jesus, help me today. Help all of us today because we really got to realize who we are, who has chosen us, Ooh. and who has qualified us. Come Ooh. on. God is in the season. He has placed you in the season to be qualified. Come on, somebody. Mm. God does nothing Without revealing to his prophets first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to speak as an oracle of God. That you are being qualified in this season. Now if you're going to be like the rest of them. And stand back and say I'm going to wait on you Lord. Baby the wait is over. It is time for you to receive. Who you truly are in this hour. God has qualified you, is qualifying you. You shall be qualified. There's a position that has been chosen just for you. Mm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but wait a minute. Let's not rush this thing. See, because too many people have disqualified themselves. Hello, somebody. How can I say that? Look at Martha. You had the sisters, Martha and Mary. Remember when Jesus went to their house? Martha was a worrier. Come on, here, somebody. She was more concerned of washing the dishes, feeding, instead of being at the feet of Jesus. So you want the house clean instead of his presence. Okay. And that's what a lot of you, a lot of the, the, the initially, that's how a lot of us taught. I got to get myself together. Then I'll go to God. I, I, I got to get myself, I, I, yes. I got to clean me up first. And then, 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 then I'll go to God. But, but, but we got to understand some glory to God. Cause just because you're going to clean one area, that don't mean you ain't going to go try to clean something else. Glory to God. We got to understand glory to God that a lot of us have this Martha men spirit, that busy body spirit. Glory to God. That's worrying you, about everything. You trying to get everything together. And God is like, you ain't got to get nothing together. He says, come as you are. You may not leave the way you came, but you got to come as you are. Ooh, I'm running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the fervent so tall. Because <laughs> I'm going to stay at his feet. Come on. You got to get at his feet instead of trying to clean the house. When you get at his feet, that's where you will learn what change needs to take place in that church that he didn't sent you to. What word that God got for the body. That's when you learn. Mm -hmm. That's when you're able to receive it and become a believer. When you're at his feet. See, this, that's what I'm talking about, consecration and, 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 and prayer and severant prayer, fervent prayer. That's where you need to be. Mm -hmm. And so many people are not doing it. And you then you say, my struggle is... Yes, because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He don't want you to become a fervent prayer. He wants you to be so insecure within yourself. Glory to God. He wants to make you think that you're not irrelevant. But you're important to the body. You are that limb. You are that bone. You are that kneecap. That will fit jointly together. Come on, somebody. Mm. Martha. Hmm. Martha even go tell. <laughs> even though in the scripture she wouldn't have told Jesus. But you got some folks that have the Martha spirit on them going to tell other folks concerning you. Okay. Mm. Yeah. What you what you doing is what they should be doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody gonna catch this in a minute. What they what 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 they taking to other people. See, because you're walking with wisdom and knowledge and the gift of, of, of prophecy and you're, do, you're walking in the prophetic and you're evangelizing, you're bringing the body in and then they go talk about you to somebody else. What does that make them? What does that make them? And then they want to teach and talk to other people? And be up over, over other folks. 
And they pulling people away because of you sitting at the feet of Jesus? Oh, my God. Help me, Jesus. Jesus had to tell her and let her know, and I'm paraphrasing, she doing what you should be doing. Come on. I've never, when I was in the world, I've never seen so many gossiping and backbiting folks, so many jealous folks in the world. I've never seen that many people when I was in the world. No, baby, because in the world, guess what? They're going to look out for each other or they're going to leave you alone. Hello, somebody. They, you ain't nobody to talk about. That was in the world. You wasn't nobody to discuss. I ain't got to tell nobody about you did this and did that. They already know. The world have more of a discernment gift of the six senses and they utilize every one of them. Okay, don't nobody want to hear that. So just because I don't look like you or he don't talk like you or you ain't looking like the rest of them, you don't talk like the rest of them, does not mean you're not qualified. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my God! Back in those days, glory to God. It, I, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. Back in those days, in order for you to be a high priest, you had to have already learned the uh, the, um, the the Old Testament the and, mm -hmm. and the law, the yeah, Old Testament and the laws. Glory to God, the mm -hmm. five books of Moses, then the laws, and you had to learn all of that stuff. And then you mm -hmm. had to go literally go and live. Amen. You had to literally, like an apprenticeship, go into uh, priesthood at a young age. Glory to God. When we look at the disciples who became apostles, amen, glory to God, by all manly or all earthly or even uh, old school rules, they do not count or should not count to even walk in that position. Somebody better run on that. Everything, everything about their life disqualifies them according to the rules of the church back then. Mm, chill now. Mm. And here you are. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to bring it to this to today. We're, not, we're talking about them back then. So now when we fast forward, we in time now. Mm. Here you are. You got red hair. Glory to God. Green hair. Uh, glory to God. Uh, you got blue lipstick. Uh, you got uh, two different, whatever you want to call it. You got tattoos, whatever the case may be. You look nothing like the church, but God called you apostle. <laughs> you didn't go to cemetery. I mean, seminary. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't go get your master's in divinity. You, you didn't, you know, uh, you wasn't raised in a Christian family with mama and daddy and, and everything was just fine. You, you, you didn't come from a, generations of, a generation of preachers and teachers. No, you, nah, you, you was a whore on the street. You was a drug dealer. My God, you prostituted every, every 15 minutes. You was a crackhead. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. You was a fornicator. You was all over to porn. Oh. A liar, cheater, killer, stiller. You on time out. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll be that. Amen. That's what the truth required. I'm just like the rest of the apostles, baby. Put me on, lock me down. I don't matter. It's still going to come out. If I had to do it in writing. Jesus. It's the truth. A cusser. A hustler. You still got them in the church that ain't been qualified. Okay. okay. But. I ain't got no friends. I want to be your neighbor. The, the comments and expressions made by Apostle T. <laughs> <laughs> Can we edit that out? <laughs> Jesus. Woo wee. Hey, 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 hey. You might be that pet after the pastor. Somebody better talk to me. After the pastor get through preaching. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Go on to your corner. Go on. Go to your corner. Go, go, go. <laughs> Somebody get here. That's one of those moments where you were slain. <laughs> Jesus. 
explain. I'm going to continue to walk away. <laughs> Trouble. I mean, and even, it's, it's funny, it's, it's funny to us, but they, 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 when, you, when you talk to the folks in the world, they'll tell you that pastors ain't nothing, but they, they believe, there's a section of the world that believes that pastors are nothing but pimps. They're not but pope and pimps. They, they say pimp or Jesus pimps or whatever they want to call them because they come into the church and they're doing the same thing they were doing in the world in the church. They just have a different disguise. What are we doing? Where's the standard? You know, this is what's so crazy. Let me, let me tell y'all. I was blind to the church. I thought everybody was holy. Because remember now, I'm not, I'm not none of them BK kids. Church, CK? BK kids. PK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of them ones that was raised up in church. So I come straight from the street. Jesus, nobody but Jesus Christ. Me and Jesus. And then I get to the church. And then after the fact, I, I'm learning these things that happens because I'm uh, from the street to the pulpit. I'm learning that these things are happening behind. You talk, oh, let me tell you, I was so broken. I was so broken behind. I cried for days as I started finding out the stuff that really goes on. It, man, listen, big ups to the women and the men that are telling what's been happening to them in the church, I swear to God, I pray for them. When it touches my heart, I pray for them because a lot of foolishness goes on inside the church. But let's get back to the point because I, I, we, we're going to talk about that another time because I'm getting ready to start crying. Just because you don't look like them does not make you disqualified. Amen? The thing what makes you disqualified is the fact that you won't go forward. See, Jonah, let's talk about Jonah. He was already qualified. God chose him to take the word to Nivea, right? He started disqualifying himself because he started running. You know, that's all it takes for the enemy to get an inkling, to get in. A door open, a law broken because you disqualified yourself. Didn't nobody else disqualify Jonah? They knew Jonah who Jonah was when he finally landed after the trip that he ran at the, mm, after he, mm, okay, he, he disqualified himself. But when he got upon the land, they knew that he was a prophet of the Lord. As a matter of fact, they came to him and said, what is the Lord saying? And as soon as he said it, they begin to fast, they begin to pray, they begin to get their life right. The only one that can disqualify you is you. Oh, my God. That's so good to me. I'm taking my husband's words. That is good to me. How many times, for real, that's a good word. I didn't, you know, we all have our own little saying. But how many times have you disqualified yourself because when you walk into a room, you don't, you're not dressed the way they dress? You don't, you don't, you don't preach the way they preach. You know, they didn't preach the house down and you sitting there, you wait for your turn. Who am I talking to? You wait for your turn. You're like, how can I, I can't go behind that. How many times have you talked yourself up out of it? Come on. Who? So I'm talking to somebody on here today. How many times have you done that? Amen. When you invited the spirit of fear in, ha, shabo, and there is a set people waiting on the word. Yes, he ministered. He threw down. Yes, he got down. Yes, she did that thing. Yes, the people are crying and shouting. Now it's your turn. Because those set people that cried and shouted for her, my God, my God, there's another set people getting ready to cry and shout for that word that you got in your belly. Come on. Uh, uh, Me and my husband are two different type preachers. Amen. Me and my husband are two different types. He's a preacher preacher. I'm a teacher preacher. Come on, somebody. So here we go. When are you, stop disqualifying yourself because God sent us on here today to let you know just because you don't look like them, can I help you? Just because you don't talk like them, ooh, I feel like, ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Just because y'all, you got pink hair, pink lips, you're big, and you're so 
a little just because all of that, all of that, just because you're doing stuff in the closet, just because. See, because I hear the Lord saying, God, I'm the one that give and I'm the one that take away. <laughs> Your book, quote, the bullshit, can't be shit. I am the creator of all things. I am the one to allow you to be tested, tried, and true. I am the one, the creator. The beginning and the end stops with me, says the Lord. Shout out about Sadia. My Jesus. There is a set people waiting on you because you're qualified. God qualified you. It doesn't take man to qualify you. But it will take sometimes those old voices talking to you to have you to disqualify yourself. Come on. Oh, shit. Satan can't even disqualify you. How do I know? Remember Joshua, the angel, brought Joshua before the Lord? And the Bible says that Satan and Zechariah, the Bible says that Satan was standing beside the Lord and he was talking about all the stuff that Joshua done and God told him to shut up and called him a liar. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And he commanded the angels to change Joshua's role. Y'all better talk to me. You got to understand this is the season that some of y'all are in. Your roles, your garments are being changed. Huh? And God is placing I must say, hey, a crown upon your head. I don't care how many times, uh, how many lies, or how many things that you did not do or that you did. God is the qualifier. And he has sent us all here today to encourage you that no matter what you look like, mm, he's taking me back to John the Baptist. My God, my God. He was dressed in sackcloth and he stood in the midst of everybody and he cried loud and he spared not. He told them about their sins. He ate, uh, he ate bugs. Whatever he did, no, he didn't look like them. But the Pharisees and the Sadducees they didn't touch him for what he said. The only time when they came and got it to him is because a woman was committing a lustful sin and he's told the truth about her. Hmm. Out of all the sins that were committed... Remember Herod and his, his sister-in-law got together. They got married. The husband, her husband died, or they probably haven't killed. Hallelujah! And 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 that's when she she see she wanted she was she was worse than Jezebel. Come on, somebody! I don't know why people can't keep her. They 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 put their mind on Jezebel, but there's a lot of devils running around here. Jezebel ain't mess with the church. She mess with the prophets. Yeah, it's so many that come against you and me, but I come to tell you what God said. We don't care nothing about them. We don't care nothing about them. They done had they feel with your life. Their days are over. They're outnumbered. What did God tell Elisha? I, there are more of you. Ha, huh, your Lord, Sire. I have over 7,000 hidden. There are more of you. Come on, somebody. You, There's a kingdom family. I'm talking about a real, true kingdom family, kindred, people that are like you, that God said you could connect with mm -hmm. kingdom-wise, and your whole life will change. Come on. Mm. Come on. Can I, I'm, I just want to drop this Ooh. just to add to what you were saying mm. earlier. And, and, you know, you were talking about the qualifications and this, that, and third. And what the Lord said to me, he says, do you know, don't you know that everything about you is intentional? <sighs> he said, don't they know that everything about them is intentional mm -hmm. from the way you walk, mm -hmm. from the way you talk, the way Jesus. you look, mm -hmm. the way you've developed, the way you have, the, the, mm -hmm. the colors you like, the type of car that you mm -hmm. like, the way you do your household. Do you know that God shaped you intentionally that way? You don't think that God made, we talk, we, we quote how beautifully and wonderfully made we are, but then we, 
Then as soon as we get older and and some we we may we may get a little chubby in one area, mm. all of a sudden, well, I'm I'm ugly because what? No, mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing wrong with being healthy. I'm not saying don't be healthy, but the fact of the matter is who you are, your characteristics. Yes, those are changed by God, but a lot of you and what you are is designed by God. That don't mean we don't pick up hiccups along the way. Amen. We do, but it's intentional. He made you that way on purpose. He made your voice that way on purpose. He made your their eyes. He made everything that way on purpose. We want to call it genetics. Wow. Wow. Genetics. That word is real. That word is real. Genetics. See, now let's talk about that word just for a minute because, see, that's what mama and them, daddy them did. That's the kind of stuff that traveled through the generations. Amen? Amen. That does not mean that God can't dispel them. That don't mean that it has to travel any further than you. Come on, somebody. We are learning in this hour a reconciliation. And that's one thing I love, uh, Prophetess Teresita, with her video. When you watch it, it's going to be a blessing to you. And, and my testimony, I hadn't even, I don't believe I shared my testimony with her when I went up to Ohio. I shared it with some of you, I believe, on lunch and the word of reconciliation between me and my mother. Come on, somebody. People have got genetic things. Glory to God. Genetics that travel. But how about my father? Can I have the genetics from my father? My DNA, I request my DNA to be from my father. Come on, somebody, which are in heaven. Hello, there is some genetics that has been changed inside of you to match up with the heavenly father that when you speak those things that be not as though they were, there's a manifestation instantly. Come on, somebody better talk to us. When you, the genetics of your father, the heavenly father, my God, that has given you the power and the authority, but yet you're running from it. Hallelujah. How long? But you've been qualified long ago. So when you speak, my God, when you land on your feet, my God, the devil should flee. The demons should run. Hallelujah. They should know when you're up in the spirit. Here she comes. Here he comes. The witches and warlocks know who you are. And But you see, see, we, oh God, Mm. But those wrong genetics, and I'm going to call them wrong, even though you're blessed by a mother, father, do not get that wrong. Don't get this twisted. But those wrong genetics, because sometimes you get X, Y, Z. I don't think they're supposed to cross over to double O and X. Amen. I don't know for sure. I'm not a scientist. But when they cross over, that will put an insecurity blanket over you. Amen. Because mother, father wasn't called and qualified Oh, they were. They just didn't walk in it. Because, see, back in the day, they, a lot of them end up in the middle institutions. Okay. And that was voodoo to even talk about it. So the soothsayers and, the, and all them, they had the privilege to take everybody's money. And so here you go in 2018. You still got a many of them are running around taking folk money. But does that make them qualified? See, we got to give, we got to speak what's right, what's right, and what's wrong is wrong. Ah. Help me today, Jesus. So here we are, y'all. Just because you don't look, I don't look, he don't look, we don't look like or talk like, them does not mean we're not qualified. Amen. Listen, we love you. We love you guys. We got a lot going on. We praise you. How y'all like these glasses? I think God is just taking me somewhere. I, every time I come on, I got some different glasses. Besides the oil and stuff, I believe I'm getting ready to go into the glasses business. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Hit me up in my inbox. Amen. These bands are selling. They're so anointed. I got mine on. And I'm so happy because I can change up in colors. <sighs> wow. Don't forget to order your oil. 
Man, listen. You know, uh, you know. Remember this. I know y'all can't see me, but remember this. Your qualifications to do the work of God mm. was never based on man. It was always based on what God said you were. We have a lot of people who have this thing, and I understand that we have the institution and there, there are certain things that we have to set in order for it to be right, because holiness is still right. But at the same time, if God called you, he called you. My God. You cannot leave that out or pretend that you didn't hear God. You cannot allow somebody who's been in a particular position before you to tell you that you can't be because because you don't look like them or or, or because you don't have the qualifications in which they have. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't you can't you can't do that. Wow. It's too many of us that are losing our God-given anointing because of what some man said or what some woman said. No, 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 no. Those days are over. You got to know God for yourself. And you have to allow God to speak to you for himself. I get it. You know, spiritual parents or, or some. And the problem is some of y'all are not even up under the right spiritual parent in the first place mm. to say that you're actually getting the, the right word that they have for you. Yeah. Or some don't know how to humble themselves. Amen. To get in the right position. There is a certain posture that we have to be in. And then we got leaders who don't want to don't want to tell the truth or don't want to see that like they, they got we got some leaders who don't want to see that the people that are, that God has given them to cover to to see them supersede them say they're not going to tell you anyway. So you, know, you have to sorry that, go ahead. I'm sorry that that thing about the leadership don't want to lose good people I I can never fall for that again. But you didn't dog me you didn't talk about me because I was good I was good I was good I was so in my tights. I was giving my offerings, and, 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 and but I'm talking about you because I don't want you to leave. I'm I'm angry. What kind of mess is that? Things got to change. The body of Christ needs to change. The body of Christ has to change, but who gonna do the change? It has. It's gonna take us. It's gonna take us. Keep on praying. We haven't stopped praying. We got to start commanding and declaring and decreeing a thing. I don't have to uh, have to say all this super duper anointed stuff. Amen. To speak the truth. Just because I don't look like them, I don't talk like them, does not mean that I or you are not qualified. So this here song, Creating Me, Creating Me, Creating Me. Can y'all hear that? Come on. Man. We, we, we got to get better. Ah, Shadorobosa. If you've been called to a consecration, if you've been called to fast and pray, I'm talking about through God. If he, if he has placed this within your heart, this is the same way I'm going to end this just like God started it. I beseech you to go forth with the time, the moment, whatever you got to do. See, a lot of people are addicted to some things and God going to freak you up. And one thing I have learned about social media, it has an addiction spirit on it. I dare you. I dare you. I double D dog dare you to do it the way God say do it. Humble thyself before the Lord thy God. <laughs> and he will show you some great and marvelous things. Be encouraged people of God because we're going forth. There are a, a set women that's not afraid to take their positions. There is a set remnant that's not afraid and will tell you the truth, that will walk the truth with you, that will encourage you, that will love on you, that will teach you. It's time. It's time to get it together. Hey, shut it up, old son. Shut it up, old son. It's time to press in. And time to get with those of them because no man is an island. 
If you search the scripture, everybody did something with somebody else. Oh, shit. Mm. Thank you, God. Share your gifts. Be obedient unto the Father. And we want to thank you on today, my God. Share the video, y'all. Share this video. Because a change has come. <laughs> a change has come. I don't even know what's next yet. But a change has come. Lunch in the Word may be next week. It may not. Whatever God wants, that's what we're going to do. We thank you guys for your time. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for loving us because we love you. In Jesus' name, have a great day the rest of your day. Amen. God bless you.